Hey y'all, Tracy here. So it's been a long day. I've had appointments and I've been out and about, but I promised myself that I would make a video opening my very first package that I received from Timu. And as you probably know, uh, I'm an affiliate for Timu and so I'm in love with uh, their pricing and their products and I'll get into all of that in future videos but I just wanted to make a quick video because I just received my very first delivery my very first shipment from Timu and it's been I should have looked first but it's been I don't know what 10 days or something maybe since I placed this order um, I'll post it down below just to confirm but, and I'm a little reluctant to open this package on camera and not know what the condition is of what's inside. And here's why. Because I ordered cowboy hats. So, you probably know that I'm a professional pyrographer, which means I burn um, art and lettering onto wood and leather. And I've been doing that professionally for more than 20 years. So, I just recently learned about this thing, burning art onto hats. Cowboy hats. I think I'm going to do mostly fedoras in the future because they have a flat surface to burn on. Uh, I already got a couple of hats that I ordered on eBay. And um, I started one and decided, yeah. No, I need to like do some more practicing, but these aren't expensive hats or anything. They're just like They're um, Fabric they're fabric felt They're not wool felt they're fabric felt and I can talk a little bit more about um, some people think that wool felt hats are the best for burning art onto some think that um, the fabric felt is great I personally had a fine experience with it taking the burn on the fabric felt um, because I have a temperature regulated professional pyrography tool and so but I did notice in a couple of spots it does tend to melt if you hold your tool in one place too long so anyway I'm going to be practicing on this on these hats um, so that I can offer this these as a product, as an add-on product in my pyrography business. So, so, without further ado, here is my very first Timu order. There, I expect there are going to be three different hats in here. And some people that I've seen who've ordered hats, not necessarily just from Timu, but um, some people steam their hats to um, return them to, you know, just made condition. I'm going to be perfectly honest. These look a, l a little bit like crunched a little bit in here. Like, I don't know what the shape of them is going to be like, but I'm opening it with you so that we can find out together. So here's my very first experience. My other packages, um, my other products that I ordered from Timu that are still coming over the next days and I will be doing reviews of those as well. But they're going to be less likely to, to have any kind of like issues. I don't want to say damage, but because it's like shirts and jewelry so that kind of stuff I'm not worried about it getting crushed or damaged in transit but cowboy hats you have to admit you know I'm not exactly sure what to expect so I'm gonna open this with you right now live I'm not doing a live video I'm doing this you know this video and then I'm going to upload it um, to YouTube and then to Facebook to the group on Facebook but I'm gonna go ahead. I have to, the first thing I want to say is it is wrapped really well. It is taped, so I don't even know where to begin trying to cut this open. And I, um, you know, I figured I'd just do this with you. And as you know, I've always got my fan on because I'm in my office, and it's warm. Oh my gosh, it's warm. 
outside and it is stuffy. So I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting this open and see what we can find in here. See what we find. So bear with me while I do this. But I am impressed with um, how well it's closed up. There aren't any holes <coughs> in the pa <coughs> excuse me in the packaging at all. It's all fully enclosed here. The, lot, the hats that I got from um, the seller on eBay, they were packaged beautifully. They arrived in perfect condition. But those hats were about three times more expensive than these hats that I ordered on Team Now. And the quality should be about the same as far as you know, they're not like leather, they're not wool felt, they're polyester and cotton, I think, blend felt hats. So, uh, making progress here, give me just a second, and we will see what we'll see here. I'm almost done getting the exterior plastic off. Okay, let's see here. All right, so I got the exterior plastic off. Let's get rid of that here in the trash. And then I gotta say right off the bat, I am seeing that one of the hats is quite crumpled. It looks like the one that I was really looking forward to getting the most. So this one, this white one is quite crumpled as far as its shape is concerned. I'll take it out of the plastic. So here's the white, the white one, which I really like because it's got this little chain uh, hat band. And then this plain gray and this plain brown. So let's take them out of the plastic. The first one I'm going to take out is going to be this white one. It's, it should take a burn really nicely, but I might actually have to get a steamer. Um, to get these back to their original shape. Okay, so as far as like the packaging is concerned, as far as like them being fully enclosed and um, protected from the elements and that kind of stuff, they did a really good job. It's, you know, packaged up well, but what I'm not excited about, excuse me here, what I'm not excited about, is uh, the shape of the hat, the condition of the hat. The condition of the hat, it definitely is gonna have to be reformed. See that, look at that. It did come with this hard plastic insert, but it itself is, was fully indented, crunched. So let me see if I put that back in here. It's got the little indent on the top where it's supposed to be protective, but let's see if I just put that back in there. Let's see, it's it's pretty crumpled. But, but, the felt, this felt is much nicer. It is much nicer felt than the felt on the hats that I got from eBay. So that's a pro and a con. My eBay supplier, was very fast shipping and the packaging was incredible. The hats arrived in pristine condition, but the underside of those hats can't be burned. This one, the, this one has the exact same underside fabric as it has on the top side. Really nice, it's very nice and soft and smooth. So I think that once I steam this back into shape, it will um, it will be great. So there's that. So I, but you know, the shape, I'm going to have to steam it. But that's okay. That's not that big of a deal to me. That's not a deal breaker for me, considering that I'm saving like this, this, this one hat cost a third of, I think this one, this one was a little bit more than these other two here because it has this nice, um, 
metal hat band here, which is really nice. So anyway, there's hat number one. Set that to the side here. Just a second. Now we'll get on to the other two hats, which do not even have hat bands. And I actually kind of prefer them to not have hat bands so that I can add, or my customers can add their own hat band after the fact. And plus any hat band I'm going to have to remove for the burning process and then put it back on. But these are all the same nice fabric quality it looks like. And see the thing is, I've seen hats done where the underside of the hat has art burned on it too and I like that. Okay, so here's hat number two. And these all do have hard plastic hat forms inside of them, but again, the hat front totally is front. So I'm going to have to reshape all three of these hats. And if I order, if I continue to order hats through Timu, which I, like I said, I think is probably worth the, the savings um, just to steam these. Let's see these. This one, this one is really, okay, here you go, see? So it's quite dented here, see that? But I think steaming it will bring it back. And it has the thingy too, which is totally crushed. Look at that, it's completely crushed. So, so as far as packaging goes for shipping, Timu does not win. They win as far as like, they taped it up really well and they wrapped it in plenty of plastic to protect it, to protect it from the elements. But just putting it in a bag like that was not sufficient packaging. Like I can't even get this back into shape. Look at that, it's so completely, no. I can't use that. So I'm gonna have to get rid of that. But let's see if I can pop this back out a little bit. Oh well, that's supposed to have a, these two little indents, see? It's supposed to have those little ones and the one here, which is fine. And then this style is like this. And I think that's the back here. Yeah, it's got it's got little like ties here where you can tighten it, it looks like. The, hat, the inside of it to adjust the size. Let's try this. Yeehaw! <laughs> So let's see, there's that. All right, so I don't think I like the size of this so much. I think I need a little bit larger size and I think they come in a one size fits all. I mostly bought these to practice on. Put my hand on the tail. Hi y'all. So anyway, all right, so there's that one. I'll try on this white one too in a minute here. It looks like it's bigger. It looks like the size is bigger. And like I said, I think it was about twice as much. The price was about twice as much for the white one as for this brown and this gray one, which are identical uh, except for the color. This, this one arrived in the best condition of all of them, this gray one. Uh, I will show you in just a minute here. So it arrived in pretty good shape. This is the one that the other two hats were stuffed inside of. <laughs> so this one, yeah, arrived in the best condition of all of them. And again, it's really nice quality felt. I like it. It's the same on the underside as it is on the top side. It's really nice fabric. I think it'll take a burn really nicely. They're, they're nice, firm, solid. Same size as the other one. <laughs> All right, so there's that. And then I'm going to try on the white one to see as far as size goes. Let's try this. This one, the shape is not good at all. What in the world? It's too big. The, I mean, the band. The... 
<laughs> what do you think? I definitely need to like get rid of my bangs. Scoop them to the side or something. Oh. All right, and then let's try on this back hair back a little bit. Do I have a ponytail thing here? Yes. All right, let's look here. Oh. I put my hair back in a ponytail. A low ponytail, which I never wear my hair in a low ponytail, but for a hat, I guess I need to. Then let's try this again. <laughs> I don't even know how this is supposed to be shaped. I honestly don't even know. It looks comical to me. So this need to go down. It wants to go up. I don't even know. I used to think I was really a hot person. This, I don't even know how to shape this. I don't know. Is this how you wear it, people? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Makes me feel silly. Anyhow, this one does feel like it's a little bit bigger than the other two. So anyhow, that's my first, that's my first Timu shipment. <laughs> delivery so I said I was gonna I told myself that I was going to videotape that for you and so there you go my first experience so to summarize I think that the quality of the hats is really nice it's nicer quality um, fabric and construction than the hats that I got from eBay. I can burn on the underside and the top side of the hat. That's a, pl a plus. Uh, so those are both good things. Um, the delivery time was completely reasonable. Let me double check and see really quick here how long that took. Uh, to arrive, I placed the order on uh, I placed my order on, okay, it says, uh, on the 27th, and it arrived on the 5th, so how many days is that? And we had a holiday in between there, too. So, I placed it, wow, look, that's barely a week, so it's totally reasonable shipping time, especially considering it was a holiday weekend. So I placed my order on the 27th. It was delivered on the 5th. So I'm impressed and happy with the delivery time. Um, and I'm looking at the pictures of them. I'll put, I'll try to um, do um, a screen capture or whatever. I'll, I'll uh, save the hat photos and insert them into this video and you'll see what it was supposed to look like. Um, and I'm just looking right here on the screen at the pictures. Um, now this hat, <laughs> in the picture anyway, this white hat, is all supposed to be totally flat down. Like flat. The brim is all supposed to be flat and it's so completely crumply. So I'll try to do another picture, but look, it is really pretty. The, the quality is really nice. So, okay, so I was saying to summarize, great um great delivery time great quality product as far as construction is concerned um great packaging as far as protection from the elements it was very well taped closed it was in two layers of plastic um they had the the little the hard plastic hat um, forms, but like this one, completely crushed <laughs> because they really should have been in a box, honestly. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't even think the ones, I wish I would have paid, I wish I would have um, taken a picture of the packaging of the ones from eBay because I kind of think they came in a bag too. I don't think 
Well, that must have come in a box. I think I really think that hats should come in a box, honestly, and not a bag to protect them. So that, you know, I don't have to worry about them being misshapen. So anyhow, pros and cons. The price is way lower for a much better quality construction product. But I still really like the hats I got from eBay too. So anyway, that's that. Uh, I will be back with more um, Timu deliveries because I've got several coming up. I think I have one every day for the next three more days, three or four more days. So I will be um, videotaping myself opening those. Maybe I'll go live on the Facebook group. I'm not sure. Um, but I'll share with you my experience. All right. Thank you for joining me. Let me know what you think. And if you like this content, please um, subscribe and like and share and all that good stuff. All right. Until next time, this is Tracy signing off. Talk to you soon. Wow, check this out. Look what arrived already. I think this is one of my hats. So I just wanted to um, to videotape this part to show the packaging and then I'll pause and uh, pull out the contents and resume videotaping from there. Okay, y'all, check this out. Look at how great this hat is. This is so perfect. So I'm going to do pyrography on this hat. It's just one of three that I ordered. I've never ordered from this company before. I've never ordered from Timu before. So here's what I'm going to do. I just wanted to show it to you in the package. I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, y'all. It is super hot in here. And I just went outside walking down to the mailbox to get this beautiful hat. I didn't even realize. I'm so impressed with how quickly I received this one. So I literally just ordered this like, I'll have to check. I'll have to check and see when did I order this, but I'm going to turn my fan on. I know it makes noise, but I'm going to turn my fan on anyway because, and this is kind of crooked because uh, I desperately need the air to blow on me in my closet because unlike the rest of the apartment, this space doesn't have any air vents. So let's see here if I can get this better. Let me look and see when did I actually order this. So let me see here. Your orders. I actually ordered, I ordered three hats at the same time, but apparently they're from three different suppliers. So this fruit, I ordered them all on June 27th. I ordered them on June 27th. And I've already got this, like literally three days later. That's pretty amazing delivery time. I'm super impressed with that. That's really cool. I have to turn my fan so it's blowing in my face. Sorry, I've got my hair up in a ponytail. My bangs are all just thing. But <laughs> comfort, right? So anyhow, all right. So here is my beautiful package. So I'm gonna look at this. It's like it's like so good. It's really well insulated. Let's see. If I just poke this. There we go. So so here's the story. Oh, nice. Look at, oh, it's two of them. It's two of the three. I had to set this aside. It's two of them. So uh, apparently just the, I ordered a brown one. And mm, in my order thing, it's showing a gray one, a tan one, a gray one, and a cream colored one. But uh, I got, oh, wait, you know what? Did I? Then you ordered these from eBay. I think I actually ordered these from eBay. Yeah, I think these ones are from my order that I placed on eBay. So forget all that that I said. This, these aren't from Timu. 
these are from my eBay order because because the ones I ordered from uh, Timu don't have this really nice little braided stuff and it's they're the wrong colors just one of them is the wrong colors so look at this look at these hats they are amazing okay so here's one thing I'm noticing right away with regard to burning like doing pyrography on these I don't you should do some research some pyrographers who are doing burning on hats they burn not only the top side but also the underside and on these the underside is not here, let me show you the texture conducive to burning the underside so I'll just burn the top side but I mostly just wanted to get these to practice anyhow because I've never done it before so I wanted to practice now here's the thing um, I have a friend in Australia that I made who's like I found her on TikTok and then um, hooked up with her on Instagram um, and she and her husband do this um, burning designs onto cowboy hats and they're super cute super nice so that's where I first got the idea so then I did some research and I actually have a girlfriend okay back up and regroup my friend from Australia who's doing it she specifically I asked her if she had any tips uh, or tricks for like success and she said don't use um, like polyester or fabric based felt um, a felted wool use only animal based felted wool um, because otherwise you'll melt the hat but then I have this other friend from Oregon that um, just coincidentally she happened to post a hat that she had burned design onto and I was like that is so funny that you're doing that right now too because I'm just now looking into adding hats to my pyrography business and um, I said it's super cute the design you did is super cute and stuff and I asked her where she gets her hats and everything and she told me that she uses the hats she uses are like polyester or cotton blend or something like that felt felted hats which is obviously what these are these are not heavy duty they're lightweight so here's and she said that she has great success doing it on on the fabric hats so here's the thing having worked with lots of different um, materials over the years of my pyrography business and being able to you know, I have a professional grade temp temperature regulated um, pyrography tool professional burning tool so I already know what I'm going to have to do is just keep the temperature super low to do the burning on these, which is what I'm going to do. I just want to test it out though. So these ones aren't from Timu, so I'm not as impressed as I thought I was. Um, when did I order these ones on from the supplier on eBay? Let me look really quick to find out. Um, my eBay. Uh, let's see. I don't use eBay very often, so I don't know how to navigate around it very much. Oh, okay. All right. So, yes, I ordered these. Still, I ordered these on June 26th, but this is an independent seller selling on eBay, which is different than Timu. I'm curious to see how long it's going to take to receive my orders from Timu. But um, nevertheless, okay, so these are really nice hats. I'm very impressed with the quality control and everything. Um, and these specifically say men's faux leather fashion bucket cap cowboy fedora hat wide brim. Um, but it does say outdoor hats. Uh, and these were $12.95 a piece. So my total on this was $21.02. Include including shipping. Ship, I believe shipping was free on this. Yeah. So anyway, I'm super happy with them. But the hats that I ordered on Timu also had free shipping. And I think that they were only like, let's see here. How much were these hats? I got three of them for $19.77. So they, let me look here. The two saw the the two plain ones without a headband that I ordered from Timu are only $4.97 a piece. 
So that's, you know, I could have gotten three for the price that I got for one of these from Timu. So we'll see what the quality is by comparison. And then the one that I ordered that's different um, on Timu is a, a beige colored one. It's the lightest color of the three that I ordered from Timu. And it's got like a chain um, band on it, kind of like a bolero kind of thing, which is cute. But it was $8.72 just for that one. So even still, you know, $4, four or $5 less than one of these. So we'll see. But I'm super excited. Uh, if you have any ideas about what you think I should, what kind of a pattern you, you think I should burn on these. So I've seen um, wood burning done on both the light colored, which well, should take the burn best, but also on dark colored hats. That's why I decided to go ahead and get a brown one too. So, but both of these are in excellent shape, excellent condition. Condition, The um, stitching is really good. Uh, I'm not seeing any defects at all in these. They look really great. So, both of them have this really nice braided trim, which I really like on there. Those are really nice. I would definitely buy these again. Uh, assuming they take the burn like I'm hoping that they will. I can't tell if that's hair or glue strip string on here. There's a little string here on the top of this one. There we go. Uh, so yeah, the stitching is all really nice. And all the details are really good. So nothing wrong with these whatsoever. Perfect. I'm happy. Anyhow, there's that. And uh, then I'll show you the ones I get from Timo when they arrive. All right. Take good care.